back to Everyday Iowa. Get the dust off the wheels of the bike because we're pedaling for a cause today. Logan Orcutt, the gentleman holding the bike, standing next to me from Goldfinch Cyclery. Good morning, good sir. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for having me. For folks who aren't familiar, first question, where is Goldfinch Cycle Ring? Uh, we are uh, in the Nubo district. We are right on um, the 12th Ave Bridge um, uh, down in Nubo. Okay, so turn, make a turn and you guys are right there. And this bike, this is, uh, is this kind of like commonplace stuff? Is this kind of what you guys fix, you work on? Tell me a little bit about the business. Absolutely. We, well, Goldfinch uh, Cyclery, we do um, we, we repair bikes. Uh, we outfit folks um, for, for their big ride. We sell new bikes. We do a little bit of everything. But, uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is a great example of a bike that, um, that we would take in on service and, and tune up and get rolling for folks. So. Well, and it's not too late to ride bikes. The season doesn't end just because we turn the page to fall, right? That's right. No, we just got to add a couple layers. So. Well, tell me a little bit about Crank's giving. And uh, I was thinking it was about people sitting around the table being mad at each other. <laughs> it is not that at all. Set the scene for us here. Absolutely. Well, Crank's giving is um, an, a national initiative. Uh, that uh, we have adopted here in Cedar Rapids, uh, our own interpretation. It's uh, a bike ride and food drive all in one. And uh, this would be our eighth year celebrating uh, the event. How, eight years ago, how did you guys decide, hey, let's do something like this? I think really just seeing, uh, for me personally, being inspired by other large communities that were um, bringing, bringing the, uh, people together uh, around a similar cause and, um, and yeah, all to fill food pantries all over the country. So it's coming up on Sunday, the 10th. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what I need to know. Do I have to have a bike? Can I get one from you guys? And let's run through the day's events. Absolutely. Well, uh, this Sunday, uh, the uh, on-site registration opens at 11 a.m. at the Nubo City Market. Uh, we will start the ride formally at noon, um, and riders will have a few hours to uh, navigate uh, around the community to uh, gather the groceries, deliver it to the food pantry, and make it back to uh, our after party celebration at the Olympic Southside okay. Theater. So it's not just, all right, everybody get together and ride. There's a route and kind of everything, or how does that work? There is a scavenger hunt element to it in that uh, we don't provide a route, but we do have, uh, we provide you all the other resources uh, to uh, to see where our uh, grocery store partners are at in, uh, in, in the city. Okay. and. Uh, it's up to the rider to uh, navigate their way around the community. And you're collecting food items, not only, I mean, as part of this, but giving it back. Tell me a little bit about the charity this year. Absolutely. Well, uh, this will be the eighth year we've partnered with the Loaves and Fishes Food Pantry, uh, an incredible resource here in the Wellington Heights neighborhood. Uh, and uh, they have given us a, a list of their most needed items. Uh, each item we have assigned to a specific grocery store partner. And it's up to our riders to uh, navigate their way to each grocery stop to uh, purchase the item and before they wrap up their ride deliver it to the food pantry. So th this is uh, a coordinated event you're just not gonna have like a hundred some people can descend on some spot and all of a sudden we run out of bread. <laughs> no it's uh, it is quite the spectacle everyone starts all at once but uh, everyone kind of sprawls out uh, uh, on their own route. So, so again uh, kind of recapping this Sunday, what time does it start for people to sign up and just kind of stair-step me through everything yeah. we need to know? Show up at the Nubo City Market at 11 a.m. Okay. Uh, this Sunday, uh, November 10th. Then and bring a bike, um, preferably one with a basket. How would you do well, it if you didn't have a basket? What would be the best way? I think this is just a fun example of how I like to carry groceries on my bike, but whatever you're comfortable, however you're doing, comfortable doing it, whether it's a backpack <clears throat> or putting a rack on your bike, there's... Uh, countless ways to carry stuff on, on the bike mm -hmm. and uh, whatever's most comfortable for you. But yeah, a bike, a helmet, some lights, and some way to carry some groceries and about 20 to $30 to purchase uh, uh, our, our shopping list. And then that purchase, again, goes right back to Loeb's and Fishes here in Cedar Rapids. Okay. And let's say, Logan, somebody can't make it, like, oh, I've got this Sunday, but I still want to help out. How yeah. would you recommend they do that? Every year uh, I have an outreach of folks uh, that do want to contribute to the food pantry, whether it's my Monetarily, or they want to go out and purchase the items on our shopping list. We are uh, Goldfinch Cyclery. The shop is standing in as a donation drop-off zone through all week. Uh, if you want to participate in uh, the spirit of the event, feel free to drop any non-perishable food items off at the shop, and we'll make sure it gets into the right hands. And then tell everybody right here, camera five, right there with the red light, why they still need to get out and ride their bike. There's still plenty of time. Uh, well, because uh, they need to get out and ride their bike because there's still, uh, you know, plenty of decent weather as long as you, you put some, uh, a couple extra layers on. And uh, more importantly, because uh, there are people in our community that 
uh, that are food insecure, mm -hmm. and this is an experience that ensures that uh, they live a more comfortable uh, holiday season. And this is one of those fun raisers too. Not just fun, but you're having fun oh, while you're doing it. Absolutely, it's uh, it's such an incredible experience. It's so many people come up to us afterwards and talk about how much fun they had. They've mm -hmm. never had uh, such a positive positive experience uh, grocery shopping. So. Two final questions, uh, rain or shine on Sunday? Rain or shine. Okay, because I'm going to track the rain out of here in a little bit. I just saw Just make that. sure it's out of here. Thank you. Yeah. Final question, how can people get a hold of you guys, learn more even if they can't come Sunday, but sell, help support a local business in eastern Iowa? Absolutely. Feel free to stop by the shop uh, anytime during our business hours or uh, shoot me an email, info at goldfinchcyclery.com or uh, the phone number on the screen there is a great way to get in touch. I got to let you go because you got to ride your bike back to the office. You're going to take a little time to get there. Logan, thanks for coming thanks in for this morning. Me. Yep. Appreciate it. You stay right there at least for just a second because I want to run it behind the anchor desk. When we